सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल प्रॉक्समॉक्स ऑन ए सर्वर और ऑन ए होम पी सी सो वॉट इज प्रॉक्समॉक्स सो प्रॉक्समॉक्स इज अ हाइपरवाइजर लेयर ऑन विच वी रन मल्टीपल वर्चुअल मशीन और रन एप्लीकेशन इन कंटेनर ऑन द सेम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो Proxmox is running Debian as the base operating system and is managing all the VMs or all the containers which we are running on top of it. So, while the Proxmox is based on top of Debian Linux, it uses a modified Ubuntu kernel beneath it. So, Proxmox is similar to VMware ESXi on which you can run virtual machines. or any other applications such as docker or lxc containers etc so to install proxmox just select the option of install proxmox ve and the graphical option and if you encounter any issues you can go for the terminal option in which the ui may not look as pretty but it will help you debug the configurations Now to install Proxmox properly you need to enter into the UEFI mode of your system and enable some settings in your BIOS so you need to enable the virtualization technology to run VMs and other things on the machine so just enable it and then you have to go into the boot options and in the boot options you have to disable the secure boot to run the proxmox now just disable the secure boot option and also to boot from the usb disk for the installation you need to select the uefi disk of the usb in the first priority order or you need to press some combination of keys which enables you to boot from the usb So for my system it is F9 but you need to check in your manual for the key options. Now I will just save these settings and exit the UEFI bootloader which is the BIOS. Now as you can see I have booted from the USB disk and I am using a utility called Ventoy on my USB so that i can have multiple isos of different distributions on the same pen drive so in this one i will just select the proxmox image and boot from it so just navigate to the proxmox image and select to boot in normal mode now also make sure that if you are using ventoy that it is updated to the latest version for it to boot correctly Now as you can see I am seeing the Proxmox boot screen again so just select on Proxmox graphical installation and now let it load So as you can see now we are in the Proxmox installation window and here we can see the end user license agreement or terms of conditions now just click on agree button now select the target hard disk on which you want the proxmox to be installed so here i have selected my hard disk or the ssd and then click on next now here select your country time zone and the keyboard layout and after doing that just click on next now here enter the password which you would be using to access the proxmox user interface so it would be the same password which would be on the installation of the proxmox and when you open the shell command on the web ui and also enter the email address after that click on next 
Now, this is the most important part of your machine. Now, here is the management network configuration or the network configuration through which you would be accessing the Proxmox interface. So, here as you can see, there are three interfaces listed. Now, I am using an external Ethernet card as the default Ethernet adapter is not working on my system. So, here it is listed as R8152. So, just select that one and make sure that your interface is working. So I can see the green dot here, which indicates that it is working and it is configured. So on this interface, you would be able to access the Proxmox web UI. And here below, you are going to configure the host name, IP address, gateway and DNS settings of the network. So just set the host name of your machine and you can keep it as default also and host name is the local name through which you can access it as a domain so that you won't need to type the IP address if your DNS resolving of local DNS is working properly. Now if you have another machine in your network which is running Proxmox then change the host name to make sure it does not conflict with each other. So I will just change it to a different one for my network case. And I will also set the IP address to an unused one. And rest, these settings are ok for me. So I will just click on next. Now it is just giving a summary of what is going to happen on the Proxmox machine. So just check it, verify and then click on install. So now just let it install and wait for it. So as you can see, the machine is going to reboot on the specific IP address. So now your system is going to boot from the Proxmox installation on the specific hard disk or SSD. Now, if you can see this screen, welcome to the Proxmox virtual environment. That means your machine is booted and is ready to be configured via the web user interface or web GUI. So just go to your web browser on a different machine present in the same VLAN and just try to access this IP address. Now you should get a page something like this in your browser. So just verify the IP address that it is correct and use the port 8006 and then continue to the IP address. Now you can see the page is opened and it is asking for credentials. So just enter username as root and use the password which you have entered during the installation and click on save username. Make sure the realm is selected as Linux spam standard authentication. Then click on login. Then click on OK for no valid subscription if you are a home lab user and you do not have a valid subscription. Now the machine is booted and it is working perfectly fine. So you can verify the disk has been detected and just click on summary button here. And in summary, you can see the specs of your machine and you can verify the RAM, storage and the hard disk space is showing and validate them here. Now this hard disk space is for VM and ISOs of the VMs. So this hard disk space is showing the space which can be occupied only by the ISOs of the installation files or it can be used by backups. And here the local LVM is where you can store the VMs. So here you can see you can store 147 GB worth of VMs or virtual machine disks. And it is also the storage for container volumes like LXEs. So here you can see if you have any VM disk or CT volumes present. And here in the locals you can have the backups and ISO images present. So just go to updates and go to repositories and here 
to make sure that your Debian installation of Proxmox can communicate to the update servers, just disable the enterprise repos. Select this enterprise repo and select the enterprise repo here also and just disable them and just add another repository. So just click on OK here and just select the no subscription repository here and add it. And also add the safe no subscription repository here. And add it. Now just reload the repositories and your machine is ready for updates. Just verify it by clicking on refresh and let it load. So as you can see there are some update files which we need to update on the machine and this is done. So you can upgrade it now or upgrade it later. Now I have posted a video earlier in my channel on which you can see how to configure a Proxmox machine to be on the VLAN network. So you can watch that video and configure your machine to be in a different VLAN and you can have the management interface or the web GUI on a different management VLAN to access it safely. So just click on the i button above and you can watch that video. Now for managing the PCIe pass through on your Proxmox machine, you need to go into the shell here and just add a few commands or lines. So now just edit your grub configuration by typing and click on enter. Now here just look at this line and after the quiet command just enter intel underscore iommu equals to on and iommu equals to pt which stands for pass through and just verify these commands and save it now. And if you are using an AMD processor, just enter AMD underscore IMMU equals to on instead of Intel. Now after that, just save the file and exit it and refresh the grub file. Now just type update grub and click on enter. And now you would need to modify the kernel modules in the Proxmox. So just modify the kernel modules file by typing and click on enter. Now as you can see this file is blank but just add these four commands and align them properly. And now you can save it. So as you can see this command is not needed so I will comment it out as my kernel is newer than the 6.2 version. So just save it and exit it. Now if you want to know on which kernel version you are just click on summary button here and here you can see the kernel version. And here it's showing 6.8.4 for me. So you can also check it in the shell window also and it is here in the top left. So after you have done this you need to restart your machine. And before rebooting you need to update the init RAM FS in your Proxmox machine. So just type this command also. And click on it. So now your image file of kernel is being updated and once this is done just reboot the machine. So wait for the machine to reboot and after that you can check and verify whether the IMMU is enabled or not. So after the reboot just type this command lsmod and check for vfio modules 
so here you can see the modules are loaded so iommu is working just type one more command to verify it whether the iommu is working or not and use this command so if you can see the iommu is enabled then it is working properly and you can use the pcie pass through on your machine now your installation of proxmox is done so now you can continue to install the isos and other things which you want to do on your proxmox machine so that's all for this video and thank you for watching make sure to click the like button if you like this video and comment down below if you have any comments or suggestions